So here's something unique. What I have here isn't a music piece or TV show tackling President Trump, but rather a comic. And it isn't no ordinary political cartoon either, as its roots for a parody can be stemmed from this anime. The fact that this thing even exists is hilarious in itself. A little background information before we dig into this comic. The comic was written by Mark Pellegrini and illustrated by Timothy Lin. Before they released this incredible piece of satire, they developed a book called Thump. The First Bundred Days, in which they depicted the president as a bunny. Now, I don't own this piece in particular, but I do know that the creators of this comic seem to have a thing for bunnies, which is pretty rad. Now, when it comes to reviewing things that involve 45, things usually get a tad bit controversial. I've witnessed this firsthand with the videos I've released earlier this year. When I offered criticism against a certain piece of entertainment, I was called a white supremacist Trump supporter who probably drives around in a pickup truck with a confederate flag waving around. Despite the fact that I'm Mexican, and I'm fairly certain I don't drive around in a pickup truck. Politically fueled pieces of media are unsurprisingly polarizing, but hey, that's just politics. I've gotten used to it at this point. Even finding this comic to be slightly enjoyable will be enough to chastise me as a Nazi. As what happened with illustrator Timothy Lim. Don't get me wrong, the whole entire land blasting of SJWs has been done to death, especially by certain YouTubers. But the assumption of Timothy Lim's character was just plain dumb. When the website The Mary Sue covered his book, they suggested bringing back the idea of book burning and called him all sorts of names. Jeez, hypocrite much? Lim then responded with a suitable response. <coughs> Dear Vivian Kane and the rest of the Mary Sue Coven and its many cats, thank you very much for writing about my book. Thump, the first bundred days. Due in large part to your silly article, we've sold out our first printing of Thump more than a month before release, and have rocketed up to the Amazon rankings. I love how you started out by calling me a neo-Nazi, and changed it to regular old-fashioned Nazi by the end of the article. That was a pleasant compromise. Despite your supposedly strict comments policy that forbids personal insults to anyone, including hate speech, you permitted a commenter to speculate that I was a white person who took the Asian last name Lim. I'm an American of mixed Filipino and Chinese heritage. The fact that I am privileged to be of an Asian heritage made your claim that I am a white supremacist ridiculous on the face of it. It is for them that I created Thump, and they've responded by ordering the books in droves. If you can afford the book, currently on sale for $10, here is an Amazon link. With Asian privilege, Tim. Anyways, I'm here to write a quick review of a comic that I enjoyed and also decide whether or not this parody is written by an extreme side of the right political aisle. So this comic is obviously a parody of the anime My Hero Academia. And if you knew me personally, you would know that I'm not really a huge fan of the Japanese, I mean anime. I don't hate it or anything, it just isn't my cup of tea. From what I've seen, My Hero Academia actually looks pretty solid. In some instances, I'm reminded of the only anime I've ever watched all the way through. This is off topic, but is it me or do all Mexicans seem to love Dragon Ball Z? Because it sure seems that way according to me. There's a lot of humorous references in this comic, like the whole bad hombres joke, and a lot of Hillary jabs. At times it is obnoxious though, like the whole, haha, look at how cringy these libtards are, shtick gets pretty tiresome. The artwork is brilliant and colorful, you can tell they had a lot of fun making this comic. It definitely takes a mind of deep creativity and passion to produce this. There's something captivating about watching a muscular anime Donald Trump fight a giant robo Hillary Clinton screeching out Ree! Now that's a sentence I never thought I was going to say three years ago, but here we are. So the comic is funny, but you may be asking yourself, where in the hell can I buy this? So I ordered this off of the Antarctic Press, which actually has a huge variety of Trump books on their website. None of which that I really want to spend my money on, but hey, I won't judge you if you buy their whole collection on there. They also have other neat stuff that isn't at all political. Now although I don't watch My Hero Academia, I do have friends who do watch the show, and this was their reaction to reading said comic. Meet Blake. He's into traps and has allowed me to film inside his room. He's also a huge anime nerd. What we have here is uh, uh, my friend Blake. Uh, I, I made him read uh, the, 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 this comic right here. It's about uh, this anime called My Hero Academia. And My Hero Academia, if you don't know, it's a show. But uh, Blake, after reading this, could you tell me what, you, what are your thoughts on said comics since you're an expert on the show? I'm an expert on the show? Yeah. Oh shit. My Hero Magamania is uh, ma Magadamia. It's pretty, uh, it's a pretty good parody of it. My Hero Academia. I mean, first off, the cover is just fucking spot on. I mean, look at this shit. Don't worry, you can edit out these long pauses. 
You're gonna ask me questions? I, you said this was an interview. This is like a one-way thing. All right, so Blake, so uh, <laughs> I mean, while you were reading said comic, what, what's something you've noticed? So first off, just starting with the covers is that uh, all my looks exactly like Trump. And uh, as I was reading this, it was like, I was trying to get a voice that was meeting in between both of them with the English voice actor of All Might. Some pretty cool things about this uh, this comic is that uh, all the little sort of references that they do within this, like uh, they do Attack on Titan here with the, uh, the Mexicans coming over the border. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing. Oh yeah, that is from Attack on Titan. It is yeah. Attack on Titan. It's the hundred foot wall yeah. or hundred meter wall. Yeah, that's why I need you because like I don't watch anime, nor do I really care about it. <laughs> Thank so. God you're friends with a weeb. Yeah. So so like it doesn't look like I'm just like an asshole who's just reviewing it, who's just like. I know everything about the topic. Yeah. Anyway, the uh, the thing with the predecessors and uh, how All Might goes down uh, the list of all the presidents and whatnot. That's actually referencing the, uh, the power that he has, uh, one for all. It's like passed down? It's passed down from person to person. Essentially what it is is that the, uh, the strength is passed down, of course, as I just said, to each uh, person down the line. They choose who they want the next person to be who has the, the power. And uh, essentially that strength keeps growing on each generation of person that it keeps going down on. Uh, of course, uh, Trump has the big smile that All Might has. Very, very easy to tell. Actually, uh, I didn't know this, uh, manga came out, like, in 2013. Yeah, it did. Because, like, uh, I first heard about, it got, like, popularity around, like, 2015, 2016. That's when it's, uh, when it first got animated is why. Yeah, and I saw, uh, fucking All Might, and, uh, I, I, I immediately made the comparison. Is that fucking supposed to be Donald Trump? And, like, of course he's, like... Yeah, he has the blonde hair, the big smile, the charisma. Yeah, he of course he represents America, doesn't he? Oh, uh, not necessarily, but his his moves very much so, like the Detroit smash and whatnot. You want to know something about Detroit? It's a terrible place, and people steal steal porches. <laughs> you haven't seen that image? No. Where, where like the whole porch off of a house is just missing. I have not seen that. I'll put that up right now. <laughs> As in this, it sort of uh, shows as well how uh, Pence sort of looks up to Trump as a hero. Uh, that directly references Midoriya and how he views All Might. Because All Might in, uh, in the show is known as the number one ranked hero mm -hmm. of uh, their society. They have a whole uh, society built on their powers, which they call quirks. And there's always a biological, scientific uh, reasoning on how each one works and whatnot. While I was reading it, I had like the whole like idea of just like, man, we're showing those libtards, but like it isn't just that in itself. I think it's like, even if you don't like Trump <laughs> himself, uh, I think it's a, a good piece of satire. It's very humorous. Yeah, it's a very nice piece of satire. And, um, I know that'll, there's a few people that I know who say they don't like it whenever I bring up the, the word satire, because they, they think it's like, the best subject ever that I talk about it. Uh, they hate it. They hate it though. They hate it a lot. Why? Why would you hate satire? I, I don't know why you would hate satire. They just get really annoyed when I bring it up, saying, uh, "Oh yeah, it's it's genre satire. That's why it's so funny." And then they go, "God damn! Why do you always have to fucking bring that up, you piece of shit?" What's so? I don't know. <laughs> eat my hair. Eat this. This is a direct comparison right here, which I thought was a uh, pretty cool. But uh, in the in the piece for Trump, it's his whole, his whole hair. He's, that's what the media does. They always point out his hair. That's like one of the big things. His, his big comb over, his big blonde comb over. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the book, it was only a piece of hair. You fucking racist son of a bitch. I know the reason why you fucking like this book, because you support Trump, you fucking Nazi, you fucking little oh, fucking shit. piece of shit. You fucking... Ah! So the consensus is that this book is humorous and above all great, and even if you don't like the president, I feel as if you'll have a wonderful time reading this. Is it written by political extremists? Uh, no. People describing this comic as a dangerous piece of commentary on contemporary America are overreacting. Much like how the right tends to overreact whenever there's someone who stands for something mildly liberal. You know, I'm starting to see more pro-Trump pieces of media pop out recently. Like I heard Roseanne is pretty okay. Oh, that's depressing. Oh well, that's it from me for today. I'll catch you guys again relatively soon. Thanks to Kate, Blake, Sasha, and Raymond for helping me film. I appreciate you. See you later, gamers.
Are we? Go get a fucking rock, Larry.